Hello Bumblebeans, Alex here requesting that you ensure your seat belts are securely fastened and both your folding tables and your chairs are in the upright and locked position as we prepare to touch down with another episode of the Top 5 Short Show, proudly captained by Barcroft TV. Barcroft bring you a bounteous crop of clips and a bumper harvest of documentaries every single week. There's a new short every weekday, plus on Tuesdays and Thursdays there's full length TV docs and we bring you the kind of room that makes you go boom over on our sister YouTube channel Barcroft Cars. And I've got some absolutely colossal kick-ass killer news for you. As of Friday the 28th of November, we're going to be bringing you the brand new Bear Grylls Adventure Channel. Bear Grylls himself will be introducing you to the most adrenaline fueled heart racing, gasp inducing, insanely exciting footage of the planet's most intense thrill seekers. This is Bear Grylls Adventure, the home of action, adrenaline and survival. Bear will also be regularly contributing exclusive behind-the-scenes footage and films from the far-flung corners of the Earth. We've prepared an enticing teaser for you, so follow the link to see the terrific tastiness in store and become a subscriber. In the meantime, let's push on with this week's Top 5 Clips Countdown. A truly cutting edge clip slices and dices its way in at five. Kishan Valaya Ayula performs the stunt every night in order to support his family in South India. The 47 year old originally taught himself to sword swallow using a piece of water pipe. Every time that he attempts to execute the endeavor, Kishan risks executing himself too. Gulp. At four, some very uncomfortable nature footage showing Antarctic fur seals forcing themselves on adult king penguins. The odd and upsetting behaviour was observed on four separate occasions by South African scientists who were conducting research into seals and killer whales. It's rare to find animals trying to mate with others from such a different species and a number of suggestions have been put forward to explain why this might be happening but as of yet, specialists can't draw any definite conclusions. One thing that is certain is how many of you found this really tough stuff to witness, prompting a lot of you to ask that classic question, to what extent should camera crews try and intervene and stop something that's happening in the natural world? If you've got an opinion or you want feedback on some thoughts you're mulling over, then as ever, we welcome your comments. Three, we're stripping off. The flaking paint and fusty rust patches from old classic cars, that is, as we join father and son vehicle restoration team Lance and Merlin in our multi-part mini-series Rust to Riches over on Barcroft Cars. We're three episodes through so far and we've seen the practical pair transform a whole host of expensive yet neglected rides to take them from banger to bang it. You know what I'd really like to see the duo do though? cover a Ferrari in fake fur to turn it into a Ferrari, or they could cover a Jeep in fake fur to turn it into a real shaggy monster truck. No? Now I hope you know my dear sweet viewers that if you ever have any questions about the stories you see on Barcroft TV, you can ask Auntie Alex and I'll do my very best to try and answer them for you. However, I do like to ask my own questions to you loon baboons now and again and last week I challenged you to send me suggestions of weird combinations of foods that actually taste hot damn delicious together. As a result, I have a bellyache of doom and I completely blame you lot. The most maximally minging suggestion came from Alexis who said that I should eat cold lentil soup with popcorn mixed in. Mate, that both looks and tastes like vomit and you are officially insane. Still lovely though. My next question isn't about taste, but smell. What's your very favorite scent? I'm not necessarily talking about perfumes or colognes. You might feel uplifted when you inhale freshly cut grass or float away on the steam from a batch of just baked cookies. Or maybe there's an odder odor that really does it for you. Tell me what whiffs you like to sniff. And in the meantime, let's go, 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 on with the show.
At number two is a supremely heartbreaking story that thankfully has a hopeful positive note to it. At the age of just 18, Helen Goldsworthy was suffering from a cocaine addiction and depression so utterly overwhelming that she felt the only way out was to take her own life. She laid down in front of a train in an attempt to commit suicide but changed her mind and tried to move at the last second. Horrifically, the train still ran over her legs which had to be amputated below the knee. Yet seven years later, having given birth to a baby boy named Thomas, Helen's life has new peace and a new purpose. This video generated some of the most moving, sad and also wise comments that I've ever witnessed on Barcroft TV. I was genuinely touched by the experiences and emotions a lot of you shared and there were some really valuable discussions too. For instance, some of you remarked on how pretty Helen is and this led to people saying that just because someone's beautiful on the outside and looks like they don't have anything troubling them, that doesn't mean they're not facing their own challenges on the inside. Helen herself joined in on some of the exchanges and agreed with a lot of you that there needs to be better education about mental health issues and more effective, accessible support for people who are struggling. Finally, standing so high at the number one spot this week that it probably needs an extra canister of oxygen just to cope with how thin the air is up there, it's the tale of 30-year-old Kara Anaya, who has persistent genital arousal disorder, a condition that can trigger up to 180 orgasms in the space of just two hours. Climaxing over and over and over again might sound like a pleasurable experience, but unfortunately, Kara can't control it. She feels excruciatingly embarrassed and absolutely mortified by the inappropriacy if it happens when she's around her 10-year-old son, Merrick. There was some really in-depth dialogue going on in your comments, speculating on what might cause PGAD and what might be done to treat it. For example, some of you thought that you might approach it like epilepsy, as though it was a type of seizure, whereas others suggested meditation could help rather than medication. Unfortunately, Kara hasn't found a cure yet, although we will update you if there's good news in the future. That's this week's Top 5 Shorts all wrapped up, sprinkled with confetti and tied with a big, beautiful satin ribbon bow. But before I dash off, let me dish up a little sneak preview of what's coming up on Barcroft TV very soon. Even more of the kind of clips that you'll want to clip yourself around the ear if you don't catch. The best way to ensure you don't miss even a millisecond of Barcroft's blindingly brilliant content is to make sure you're subscribed to all our channels, Barcroft TV, Barcroft Cars, and now subscribe ready for the Bear Grylls Adventure Channel when it launches on the 28th. So excited I might actually pop. For now though, I've got to say toodaloo. See you next time, sugar lizards.